how to control nerfs in osu game so my last video talked about strategies on how to fc more maps and if you haven't watched it yet then you can watch it from the card right here but i also talked about nerf control but i feel like i didn't explain nerf control that well and some of you guys asked for tips on how to do nerf control so i'm gonna go into some tips and strategies on how to do this and additionally i saw that there's not really a good nerf control video on youtube for osu there was an attempt of an explanation by digital hypno where he attempts to explain it by saying that you should be basically satisfied with your performance when you hit a point of the map while you're fc then having this mindset will let you hit the rest of the map which is kind of true but it could be explained a little bit better but to talk about the rest of it we first got to establish what nerves are and how we get there we oh get nervous God. when we're about to make a cool score or hit a cool play in the map as established in the last video we will get a dopamine spike when we hit a cool play and since dopamine spikes feel really good we feel excited for that dopamine spike which Bruh. would lead to nerves but the more sciencey way to explain how we get nervous is that when we feel nervous when we're about to hit the cool play the hypothalamus in our brain activates the adrenal gland which releases a hormone called cortisol which is essentially our stress hormone the release of this hormone puts our body into a state of fight or flight where we are stimulated and turned into a hyperactive state where Bruh. focus and attention increase However, we will also experience shakiness as a result of this. Shakiness in the context of Osu is not good because that's going to make you more likely to miss. So this phenomenon would be known as having nerve in Osu. However, this is not exactly accurate since there's a spectrum to how nervous you can get. Before I talk about the rest of that, I just want to shout out my Discord server. I just started hosting a tournament in there. I just opened the registrations and I just did that yesterday. So if you're interested, it's an open rank 1v1 tournament for osu standard and if you're interested in that then please join the discord server over here or in the description below and it's a community going every day so if you're interested in that then join that the types of nerves there's a spectrum to how nervousness is so surprisingly the least severe case of nervousness is being nervous where you will be in a state of being on edge or jumpy this may apply to some osu players but i believe that most people will be familiar with a state of increased heartbeat increased shakiness and shortness of breath and perhaps sweaty. this will more align with a state of being anxious which is basically a more severe case of nervousness so basically the low levels of nerve is nervousness where you are on edge and jumpy while the high level of nerves is anxiety where you will have increased heartbeat shakiness sweating and shortness of breath and i would assume that most people are familiar with the latter symptoms of anxiety than nervousness while they're about to fc a map right are nerves bad is it not is it bad to have these nerves well nerves aren't necessarily bad but you want to be in a good midpoint of being both relaxed and nervous and the best approach to anything in life life is to be calm but focused which describes the state of being both relaxed and nervous and if we have nerves then we would have higher performance due to the height of focus but if we are relaxed then our performance may diminish due to lower levels of arousal which would decrease our focus levels on the contrary though being oh too God. nervous may make us shake too much and make us too stimulated which could result in an overperformance, which can lead us to missing or overstreaming. as a result we want to be in a good midpoint of nervousness and here's the big cake how can we deal with these nerves so the number one way that i recommend to deal with nerves and for nerve control overall while you're better fc is to practice deep breathing some people may experience their shortness of breath or sometimes people may forget to breathe at all while they're fc or playing the map which could make us pass out or feel lightheaded which would lead to decreased performance leading us more likely to choke right and instead we want to counteract against that and practice deep breathing during the map so this is most effective if there's a break while you're fc then this is perfect where you can just pause the map and just have a deep breathing moment so how we would do deep breathing so i'm just going to demonstrate right here so you basically breathe in through your nose for a bit for a couple seconds and then you want to breathe out with your mouth so inhale with your nose and then exhale through your mouth so performing this will stimulate our bodies to be more relaxed and can help us lower anxiety because our heart rate is going to go down if we practice this deep breathing and doing this will make us so that we don't overperform and choke and miss because the nerves will get to us doing deep breathing will lower these symptoms and just make you more relaxed because if you're too nervous you're going to probably choke there is a likely chance to choke however if there are no breaks it's kind of hard to do it if there's no break you kind of just want to be conscious of it be conscious of like your breathing pattern and try to make them as slow and relaxed as possible while you're playing the map there's not really a better way to do it but that so another way we can control nerves as i mentioned in the fc video is to practice mindful meditation so you want to be mindful of the, your thoughts while you're fc so while we're playing the map previously while we were fc right we were focused on our thoughts were focused on playing the map i've seen the map hitting the patterns hitting the rhythms but the moment we're about to fc some of us may have thoughts of like oh wait i'm about to get all that pp i'm about to get that cool play i'm about to get that 
crazy play, right? That crazy score. If we have these intrusive thoughts, our thoughts are diverted to that, right? Our thoughts aren't 100% on seeing the map anymore. And we kind of want to be mindful of this. And we can do this through meditation. I personally use Medido. Meditation can allow us to be mindful of this while we're FCing. And we can divert our attention back to FCing the map. I won't talk about what, how you do meditation. You can look it up. But... It's a good practice. You guys should probably do it. The third thing to control nerves is just some general health things. So oh regular exercise is good to overall reduce stress anxiety. So is good sleep. And so is having a good social group to talk to. All of this stuff reduces your stress anxiety levels. And it's super basic information that everybody knows. I understand that. But it's probably one of the most beneficial things you could do for your life and just your performance and OSU and anything in general. So final remark. To summarize this video, we get nervous or anxious when we're about to FC a map due to our expectation of the spike in dopamine when we hit the cool play. Our bodies then go into a state of fight or flight due to release of cortisol the stress hormone in our brains which leads us to being hyperactive with increased focus and attention this is the phenomenon called nerves but it's more likely to be a state of anxiety due to an increased heart rate and the shortness of breath and the ways to cope with your nerves are through deep breathing mindfulness through meditation and there's general health improvements in your life it's a super unsexy answer i know that but it's effective and works for me and should work for you guys as well and if you haven't joined my discord server yet then here's the link in the video or in the description down below we're gonna have that tournament soon so if you're really interested in that the 1v1 open rank inclusive tournament the osu standard one we also got multis and other cool stuff and, and we're just about to have some cool events and it's a community going every day so you might make some friends here as well so right here in the video or in the link below and also subscribe to my channel for more guides like this i also upload clips and polls on this channel daily but if they get annoying you can always just mute the notifications or you can keep them on so you can have these guides notified thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for your interest in science